In today's Tableau tip, I'm going to show you how to create dual axis charts like this one you see here. They're often called combination charts as well. So what are combination charts? Combination charts allow you to have different marks on different axes in order to compare two measures and quickly spot important relationships between the two. You might want to use a combination chart when you want to represent two measures with two different mark types. So how do we build these? First, I'm connected to Superstore Sales, and in this example, I'm going to right-click and drag order date to the column shelf and choose my discrete months, hit OK, and I want to go ahead and put sales on the rows, and you'll see I get a line chart. Now there's a couple of different ways that I can build a combination chart. I could take profit ratio, and you see I can drop it over here on the right-hand side where I get a dotted line. That will automatically give me a dual axis chart. So let's go ahead and drop it there. And you'll see that Tableau by default gives me two lines. Now, I might want this profit ratio to be bars instead. So there's three different ways that I can change this to bars. First, I could go over here to the marks card, choose my profit ratio shelf, and change it to bar. That's option one. The second way is to right click on the green pill for profit ratio on the row shelf, go down to mark type, and make it a bar. The third option is to right-click on the secondary axis, go down to mark type, and make it a bar. All three of those will do the same thing. Now what you'll notice is that the bars are in front of the lines. So there's a couple of different ways that I can move the marks to the front. The first way is to just rearrange them here on the measure name shelf. Okay, well that doesn't look like it actually did it. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on the secondary axis and choose move marks to back. And there you go, you have a very simple combination chart of sales versus profit ratio. So let's name that sheet sales versus profit ratio. So what are some other examples of combination charts? Well, we might want to do something where we're looking at a uh, subcategory and we've got sales on the columns and we sort them in descending order. But what we'd like is to, for this to be a lollipop chart. So let's go ahead and let's take sales again. And we can, this time, let's put it on the column shelf. And so I can show you the other way to create a dual axis chart. I'm going to right click on my second pill and choose dual axis. And you'll see they both change to dots. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to right click on my primary axis, change my mark type to a bar. And then my secondary axis, I'm going to right click on it and make it a circle. Okay, it's already a circle. So I'm going to go over here to my marks card and on my bars, I'm going to make these skinnier. So I want them to be nice and skinny. And then on my, uh, second, on my second sales shelf, I'm going to go ahead and make my circles bigger. I can choose fit to entire view. And now I have nice lollipop charts. Now you want to make sure that you synchronize the axis. So I'm going to right click on my secondary axis and choose synchronize. You want to do this whenever the measures are similar. So for example, if I'm looking at sales versus profit or sales versus sales. And then in this case, I can go ahead and hide my secondary axis and I'm left with a nice lollipop chart. So let's call this lollipop. Another example might be to look at, maybe we want to look at uh, sales over by, by uh, continuous months. So I'm going to right click and drag order date to the uh, column shelf, choose month, hit OK. And let's put sales on the rows. And let's say we want to color that by region. And we get multiple lines, but in this case, I want to go ahead and make it an area chart. I'm going to assign some colorblind friendly colors to my lines and we get something like that. So let's go ahead and make this, uh, let's make this uh, a, a running total. And you'll see we get a nice, a nice little chart here. But what I want to do is I want to add a, a line all across the top of this to sort of highlight the top of the line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control drag this, uh, my sum of sales pill to my row shelf again so that I duplicate it. And then on my second sales card, I'm going to remove region from the color shelf, make it a line, 
change the color to black. And then I'm going to right click on that secondary green pill, second green pill, and choose dual axis. And then right click on the axis and choose synchronize. And now I have a nice dark line that represents my total. So I can call this an area chart with a total. Okay, what are some other examples? Maybe we want to compare year over year sales. So let's take uh, month, let's look at, uh, let's say, order date by discrete months. And I want to go ahead and create a calculated field for my different years. So first let's see what years we have in our data set. So we have 2011 through 2014. So I'm going to create a calculated field and let's call this 2014 sales. I'm just going to do a simple formula that says if the year of order date is equal to 2014 then give me sales otherwise give me zero. Hit OK and then I'm going to duplicate that edit this, the new pill and call this one 2013 sales and then just simply change my formula. Okay, so now when I put 2014 sales in the view, you'll see I get a nice little line chart. And I could put 2013 sales on the secondary axis, right click and synchronize. And then maybe I want this one to be a bar. Or maybe I want it to be circles. So then I can simply compare 2014 to 2013. So let's, again, let's move these marks to the back because we want 2014 to be more prominent. So this could be year over year sales. Or let's just call it year over year. Okay, another example might be, let's say we want to look at, uh, let's say we have order date and we want to look at it by quarter. And we have sales in the rows. And we get a line chart like that. But maybe we want to see uh, the breakdown of our regions as well. So I could take sales, put that on the secondary axis, right click on that on my secondary axis and choose synchronize. And let's make the secondary one circles. And then perhaps I want this to be broken down by region. So I'm going to take region and put it on the color shelf. And now I can see how my sales are comprised across the regions within each quarter. So this is quarterly sales with regions. Okay, another example might be on a map. So let's say we are looking at the data by state. And I need to go ahead and change my country to the United States. Hit OK. And we might want to look at profit on the color shelf. I'm going to change this to red to black and force my center at zero. And then let's say that we want to see dots on top of each of these states that represent our sales. So I'm going to take latitude, put that on the row shelf again, and you'll see I get another filled map. Well, I'm going to go to my second latitude shelf here on the marks card. I'm going to remove profit from the color. I'm going to put sales on the size. And then maybe let's make that perhaps some type of blue. And then I can right click on my second green pill, my second latitude pill, make a dual axis. And now I have a nice dual axis map. Perhaps I want my circles to be a, big, a bit bigger now. So now this is sales versus profit on a map. Okay, let's look at another mapping example. Let's choose state again. And this time, let's go ahead and just put sales on the color. And we just get something that's simply green. But let's say we want to see how each state is broken down by, uh, by uh, let's say, a ship mode. So let's take sales, or I'm sorry, not sales, let's take latitude and put it on the rows again. And again, we get two maps. Let's go to our second latitude card. Let's remove sales from the size. 
and let's make it a pie. And let's say that we're only interested in two categories, furniture and office supplies. I'm going to go ahead and put that on color. And you'll see I get my pie. Basically, all of my pies are split in half. Well, I need to tell Tableau how to size the pie. So I'm going to put sales on the angle. And then I'm going to right click on my secondary green pill and make a dual axis and, and then make, uh, uh, go ahead and make my pies a little bit bigger. So we can get something like that. So now this, we could call this one pies on a map. Okay, so those are several examples of ways that you can create dual axis charts. I hope this, you found this video helpful, and if there's more examples you'd like to see, just let me know. Thanks.